Hello, the Tesla Autopilot was designed in California, but how does it fare in Cornwall on Cornish Road? Stick around and we'll take a look, won't we Jennifer? That's right. Beautiful day here in Cornwall. I'm just going to demonstrate the autopilot. Obviously, it was designed with uh, USA in mind, especially Californian roads. Cornish roads are not quite the same, so you have to be a little bit cautious. So I'll uh, just show you how we got on. So beautiful today, today in Cornwall. So foot on the brake. I'm in P, and we've. Got press down and it takes us to D. The earlier software had eight big letters and I wish they'd go back to that. In fact, when I was looking to buy the car, uh, all the software I could see had the big D letters, P letters, reverse, R for reverse. And it was a bit of a shame when I picked the car up and it didn't have that. I was thinking maybe it's just in the US, but no, it's, uh, all the software. So you indicate this is very good seeing that you can see the, uh, uh, the camera here and of course it, I didn't have to use the foot brake, it's got uh, regenerative braking. So I just realised windscreen got dirty so I'll give that a clean and you have to put your window up because if you don't you get a it varies from car to car, but the Tesla you do get wet if you put the windscreen washers on. Yeah. Now this is a pretty typical Cornish lane and there's a lot of shadow, there's no clear middle marking and there's no way I'm actually going to use the um, autopilot here. Um, if I demonstrated it, it's also 60 mile an hour, so if I don't, in fact up here it, it hasn't even yes it's it, it will let me do it but I, I'm, I'm not uneasy about it there's a T there it's not very big uh, and if I did a point down twice on the, the stalk it would uh, then take control I might try it here it's a little bit better I just go and it's now doing it but I'm going to slow it down because it's 40 here I don't want to do 40 that's too fast and you can see the lines there. There is a sort of a line in the middle of the road, but I'm hanging onto the steering wheel. I've got the blue there. I'm not over easy about this, as if it will take me around this bend. If it will take you around the bend, it's okay, but your hands have got to be on the steering wheel. And what it does here, I have nothing that we'll see. It's a very sharp bend. There's no other traffic. I'm going to see what it actually does. No, it bailed out. It was too sharp. And that's a really good example of why you shouldn't use auto steer, autopilot in Cornish roads because it says, sorry, I've got no ideas. And uh, I'll try it down here again. The line's clearer, but I can see at the bottom people are walking, so I'm going to, I don't think, I think it looks so I don't know what it was going to do, and I'm just going to give them a bit of space. 30. There's other vehicles that you can see. But yes, it does work, but I wouldn't use it now. Here we've got all sorts of things going on in front. It almost took it out, so I it almost knocked down the um, the bollard. It was very close, and so I'm taking control now. And, uh, but you can see it's showing it's showing all these things. So for normal driving, this is fine. Here we are at Woodmouth at high tide and it looks beautiful. So it's very pleasant, it's a wonderful uh, car to drive. You, you know, as Ashley Neal said, you don't buy don't buy a Tesla for autopilot. I mean it, it, it's okay. Um, you buy it for other things. I certainly did I had no idea what it would or wouldn't do. I, I really didn't know and I wasn't bothered. Some people were summoning it from garages and parking it. And I had no idea if I was going to get that or not, I'll be honest, but I, it, it didn't matter because I didn't buy the car for the autopilot. Why did I buy the car? Um, again, so we've got the it's on autopilot, it's steering on a Cornish A road, and 
it slowed down quite a bit for this van to close. But I'm going to take over. I'm just touching the brake so that I'm now back in control of the speed. And, uh, Designed for this road, the point is, uh, it really is not. Just see the distance to seven, as you can see down there a moment ago. It's disengaged now and brake, decided to brake. So I'm in control, 37 miles an hour, just easy. I've got a bit too close to that car then. Um, I've got the control of the steering wheel and the accelerator because these roads are just not right for autopilot. But in a moment, when they are, when it's a bit straighter, I'll do a demonstration. When I went to Scotland, I used it a lot for the quieter roads, roads in the early evenings, along the straight and very little traffic. But just for a demonstration, we're on a bit of a bend here. Uh, it, it's available, and I'll do that, and there we are. It's ready to, and it's now steering me at 39. It's not going to go too fast, but it's a 60 mile an hour road, but the car's in front, so um, we're keeping a nice distance and the speed's gradually going up. And this is fair, this sort of road is fairly safe. I've got a good distance. I think it's a bit more than the seven, and when if I do that, you can see this button on the steering wheel is keeping a nice distance. So it's kind of slow to react. And uh, this is fine, this sort of steer and this sort of road is ideal. I think the style, obviously electric was going to be good, and range, you know, and comfort. Everyone said how that they could never go back, but I think it looks superb. The front styling is just so simple. I do enjoy that part, and uh, the car is very comfortable. I've had many, many cars, and this is as comfortable as it gets. I'm just going to slow it below 40 because there's a bend up here. It's showing that we're quite close. You see how it deals with this bend. Again, for demonstration purposes, I'm ready to can take control as it takes a spur. And it's kind of given a bit of a warning. If I slow it down a bit. And, uh, yeah, it works, but... It's not ideal, and it, it, it's got rid of it. Now. It took it, it took us out of the autopilot. Doesn't like this. It, it, it's designed for California, uh, so my summary is: is really uh, use it with caution. Use it when the conditions are right. You move the steering wheel and you take control, but then you have to press the brake to stop the control. We're going to turn right here. So people waiting to cross. Do we go? Do we go? And I'll be a good motorist. I'm not even showing people walking across. That's definitely very new. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you can like and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. 
please don't forget to use your reusable coffee cup mug whatever take care thanks a lot just don't use those single plastic ones if you don't mind thank you so much bye, -bye.